Here's another quick, quick books tip, merging duplicate vendors. I'm going to go into the expenses tab on the left hand side of my QuickBooks online and then click on vendors to get the list of all my vendors. Here in the list of my vendors, I can click on any of those vendors and see how many transactions or which transactions have been associated with that vendor. For example, I'm going to click on the 7-Eleven that we see here and then I get to see that there's been roughly about 10 or 15 transactions associated with that vendor. If I click on this little icon here next to the vendor's name, I see an expanded list of my vendor list and I can actually click on any of them and keep this window open and go through potentially what are my uh, potentially duplicate vendors. So it's really important to go into each vendor, analyze what's in there now, just to make sure that they are uh, essentially separate vendors or the same vendor that has been mistakenly been duplicated. Another quick way to uh, review what could be potentially duplicate vendors is to go into the reports menu on the left hand side and then click on reports. And then we're going to search for a report called expenses by vendor summary. I think it's a great report to use. When you pull an expenses by vendor summary, you're going to want to click on dates, all dates for the reporting period. And then where it says sort, we're going to use default. So it uses alphabetical ordering and not numerical ordering. Then I can go down and potentially see vendors are duplicated with similar names. For example, we got the 7-Eleven, both with numbers, 7-Eleven with a 7 as a number and 11 as, as words. And then we're going to go back and see that there's one called, actually spelled out, 7-Eleven Corp. And notice all of them have uh, a dollar amount. That means all of them have transactions. One other quick way to review all the transactions across all the vendors is to click on total here, right there on the expenses by vendor report and then scroll up and click on customize and then filter so you're only seeing those vendors so we're going to go down click on the filters button expand that and then we're going to click on the vendor check mark so we can enable that filter and then here in the drop down menu under vendors we're going to manually select click on every one of the vendors that we suspect are uh, duplicate names or redundant names then we're going to click on uh, run report and then we're essentially going to get a report of all the transactions across all those vendors. I can even go where it says group by and I can group them by vendor name and then click on run report. That way we can see them sort of grouped together. And here I can see the transactions associated with each one. I can see which accounts are being associated with it. On their split, I can see what uh, bank account or credit card was used to make those transactions. And at that point, as I review them, I can discern, yeah, it's a good idea to merge these. These are essentially all the same vendor. Uh, we just mistakenly duplicated them. You can save this report, print it, export it to Excel. If you want to have a history of that merge uh, before you merge it, because once you merge it, the history will go away forever. So let's go ahead and do the merge. Let's go into expenses and click on where it says uh, vendors. And then I'm going to pick the master one or the one that I want to keep. Let's say this one that says 7 hyphen 11 with 11 typed up is the one that I want to keep. So all I have to do is click on one of the ones that I want to merge into that one, click on that, and then I would click on edit and then rename that uh, where it says display name as, rename that to match the other one. So I'm just going to type 11 here to make it match 100%. Then I'm going to click on save. And then once I click on save, it says, please confirm. This name has already been used. Would you like to merge the two? The answer is yes. That's what we want to achieve. Again, remember that once I do that merge, I cannot go back and retain that separate history across all of them. Let me go down and look at the second one, which is this one that's uh, fully spelled out and then click on that and then also click on edit and then change the display name as to match the other one. So we're going to go ahead and type that in there. Okay, so I'm double checking display name all matches. Then I'm going to click on save and it's going to ask me the same question. Are you sure you want to merge them that contain the same name? The answer is yes. That's what we're trying to achieve. And both of those existing old vendors will be created uh, or will be actually deleted. They will be shown as deleted. Notice that this one is shown as deleted and this one is shown as deleted and there are no transactional history under them. If I click on the new one that I've merged into, I can scroll down and I can see all of the transactions that belong to that one. We're going to go back and go into reports click on reports and then do an expenses 
by vendor report or expenses by vendor summary rather, click on that and then we're gonna see that there are no more of that duplicate vendor and then all the transactions are now all inside that particular vendor or the history of that vendor. I can click on that and notice that the, the original name has gone away and now it's only the new merch name that all the transactions are gonna be attached to. So make sure you do that report prior to have that backup just in case you do that merge and you wanted to go back and manually change that afterwards. You could always do that manually. There's no undo for merging. So and merging is a pretty permanent thing. However, it's a really valuable thing to be able to run an expenses by vendor summary report and have vendors there that are not duplicated. That way it makes it so much easier for you to do your analysis. I hope you like this video and I'll see you on the next one.